All right, let's see here. Twitter as well, why not? Can you hear me? Am I hearable? sure if you can hear me or not. I'm gonna ch just keep talking until I say yes. Hopefully that's soon. Alright, let's give this a shot. Starting up a new file on Shante. Should be a fun little test to see if I can do this. New game! Shante with her hair down. <laughs> Sleeping all nice and quiet, and then you hear the voices. Mm. Amazing how she can just, like, let's jump all the way down from here. Whoop, there we go. She says that she's the uh, protector genie and she lives all the way outside, separate from everyone else. Mystical forest separating her. Nice little jump. Relaxing animation. Ruff, ruff. What is he doing asleep? He shouldn't he be Let's find out then. We No, nope, can't push it. I wonder if they'll ever bring this up in another game. Jump, but jump, whoop, there we go. Fire. Nah, fire, fire, bird. <laughs> oh no, an enemy. Oh, good thing that fire's there. I wonder, can these actually hurt me? No, no, they, oh, okay, apparently they can. I wonder if they, I actually have health or not, like this. I actually try that out sometime. But fire, haha. <laughs> Ooh. Huh? Well, it's under your uncle's basement, so that's one thing. It's telling you to jump in the water. Oh. A genie. Shantae. It's pretty simple. I don't know, a glowing, red, uh, glowing white light suddenly appears in front of me? I might be a little bit more afraid. A messenger from the genie realm! I have summoned you here to warn you of a great danger. Very soon, an agent of darkness will strike at the heart of our world. It seeks to corrupt our magic and use it for its own selfish gains. I wonder if Linkar will get me for taking his bit. With our power at its disposal, the agent of darkness will reign supreme over both our worlds. And no one will escape its wrath. Nah, just, nah. Sounds like a normal thing. Not too serious. You beat it up with your hair. <laughs> with your hair.
No, I would have done it earlier. Uh, <laughs> I, will, <laughs> I will help you where I can. Listen to my voice and follow your heart as you always have. Only then can both our worlds be saved. You couldn't put that on one panel? Really? Okay. You can't hear them because they didn't say anything. Behold the glowing light! Creepy old man, looking safe, sure. Sure seemed like a dream. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with having comic books. Then Carl would also agree. Okay, the chocolate ice cream... The tub of chocolate dough I, cookie dough ice cream would probably be part of it, too. Do this job. Circle on this game. Probably doing something. I'll have to go get that part. Disguise, bathhouse, item shop. Dang it. Welcome to the item shop. Oh. Okay. So I think I was right about him being up to something else. I think a bathroom angel is such a thing. I don't think that's a good thing to call somebody. It sounds like someone who would help you flush those things that might not want to be flushed. It's like, please, bathroom angel, send this down the toilet for me. Alright, let's go give her a talk. Hardcore white knuckle full throttle max relaxation. I have no idea how to respond to that. I'd offer you advice on your about your quest, but right now I'm trying to figure out where this receipt came from. Whoever <laughs> delivered that drooling buffoon statue over there must have dropped it. I think it was the statue, and just keep thinking of him as a statue. He's not going to move. Except for maybe one area. Anyways, uh, yeah, we'll just take that receipt off your hands. Yay, sail slip! If you lose your way, come here for a free hint. Oops. I didn't think to actually talk to her again, and it's kind of not sure how to take that. Alright, now we check out the item shop. Picking up for your uncle, then. Just show me the receipt, and I'll fetch it for you. 
Here's your receipt. Okie dokie, let's see here. Yep, here's the order. It was stuck in a box of hard, hard drives. Makes you wonder. This place is like full of it, not technology and they have hard drives. Like, if you look at this place, it's not very, uh, modern. So I wonder where, how they would use hard drives in a place like this. But as you'll see, there is somebody here who does have at least a form of technology. No, I don't have anything for you. So I actually wanted to, oops, nope. Uh, where's a, one of these buttons. Really? I can't? Wow, okay. Not only be able to check out what's in your menu, but... Fine, have your magnet. My magnet's finally arrived! That means it's time to show off my latest invention! Gears! Ancient Gear Golem! It's a bunch of gears, Shantae. <laughs> Not sure how, but that doesn't look like a dynamo. Shantae. <laughs> okay, not sure how she how the magnet that small suddenly turned to that big when they're all that small as well, so. Yes, the hero gets to finally do nothing. That won't ever happen. Well, you wouldn't know if you actually tried to uh, look under your carpet there, but I guess that's not gonna happen cuz oh look that doesn't look evil at all doesn't look very bat like either and suddenly everything goes up in smoke well sideways in smoke I guess in this point but well, well it'll go up in smoke later Offwards to Main Street. I need to head to New York. I think that's where Main Street is. Away! Yep, see? Smoke. Rise. He doesn't run. Big for it. Uh, it doesn't look like any of your birds are big enough because they're all still eggs. And suddenly you have a big bird. Less yellow though. I, she almost, you almost think they're not gonna explain it, but they actually do later. Doesn't actually look like a bird whistle, just looks like a regular whistle. I think bird whistles are a different shape. Up, up, and away! Give me a second here. Sorry. And we are back to game. For several seconds. I think I actually missed that when I was doing something else. In fact, you can stay on the menus for a long time and she won't ever actually, it won't penalize you or anything. Like, oh, look at that over there. Look at that over there. Oh. That's so cool!
saving again, because why not? The only time you see wrench in the stage, sort of. Add it to the subscreen. Yes, I'd like to know how to get that, actually. Silky Split Ends of Justice. Yeah, I don't... Yeah, that's true. Dragon Ball Z seconds tend to last for several episodes, and five minutes doesn't actually end up being five minutes. And we start the stage proper with some of the best music in the game. You got your standard enemy Tinkerbats. That's gonna constantly be shooting cannonballs at you. If you take too long, spawn more Tinkerbats. It will never end. Well, I don't know if it'll ever end, but I don't tend to find out because it usually only doesn't take too long to actually beat it. I really need to work on that timing a bit more. The soundtrack is so amazing. Oh, hey, oh, hello. A box. When in doubt, whip it. Da na 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 na. I am Tone Deck, so pardon the horrible singing if you should ever hear. Get no. Okay, I'm just gonna ignore you then. Eat, eat. Eat, eat, eat. Alright. Oh no, the platform is gone. What oh, and it's back. Don't even think I have to go that far off screen. It just randomly or it shows right back up a little bit later. Just keep whipping enemies. You got right now. That's your only real source of attack. No, I want gem. Your gems are your currency. Normally, water. Like Shantae shows, water is the enemy of all things. In this game, you can actually swim. Swim. And you'll actually get some more powers later on to help you swim further. That. Oh, and... Okay, it's not gonna let me spawn a third uh, magic jar. Fine. Magic jars will help you uh, restore magic. You don't have access to that right now, considering, well, you don't have any magic. Oh, oh that actually hurts you. Can't... I think that was actually possible, considering it's just a stationary object, but... Fine. Stop it. All right. If you ever doubt you're actually gonna hit something, just crouch and crouch and whip. Easiest way to actually uh, to for sure hit something that's may seem a little bit smaller or not. Save again! Yes, might as well save. Always save, because you can never save too much. If Sierra Games have ever taught people anything. And now, we get to something that will get cause a lot of people some massive flashbacks. Mega Man Blocks! Ah! Beware the Mega Man Blocks. It actually gets really interesting later, when you try to go through those. Hello, somebody we can't get to right now. Oh. Ah. Alright. Oop. Oop. <laughs> ah! Mega Man Blocks, how dare you! You were supposed to catch- Oh, well, I guess you can't catch me anyways, because you're Mega Man Blocks. 
I was wondering what Mega Man blocks are. Those are the blocks that tend to uh, disappear on you and reappear. And you have to just get the timer right in order to jump them. But other times it's just they don't want to... You have to really work on your timing for those. Hmm, an obvious inconspicuous hole. I wonder how I get in there. Well, for now, kill more Tinker Bats. I'd rather save it for later. Right now, we gotta focus on saving the town. More Mega Man blocks! No! Oh, crap. Actually, if you kinda look, the Tinker Bats in here kinda keep to the pace of the uh, slamming. A little bit. Alright, jump, jump. No! Oh, I, I jumped too early. Oh. Alright, jump, jump, and break the pots. More money! Whoa. Timing is everything, and that's something I sometimes just do not have. On going. Whoa. Just keep whipping. Just keep whipping. There we go. You don't have to destroy those blocks, but it's always good just to check to see if there's anything underneath them. Don't think there's anything else here, but. Oops. Nope, nothing else. Alright, and we're off. Most stages only have uh, two to three sections to them, but this is a pretty. They're pretty simple, but the platform is always fun. Behold! A giant enemy slug! <laughs> Completely different to a giant enemy crab. So. Okay, the queen is something, because it's weird. Why wouldn't she? She's a pirate. Behold! Paper! Oh, right. Man, she's really good with that laugh. Part or omni organic, partially titanic, or ocean optional think, uh, tinker slug. Poop toot! <laughs> Beware the poop toot! Take your slug. Don't call it poop tube. Ooh, what's the shiny over here? Ooh, I see something that explodes. Let's make it explode. I'll whip it. There we go. Whoa. You don't really have to worry about too much. You can probably do this without actually getting hit if you're really good at it. For me, I almost got hit there again because I'm smart. But all you gotta do is just ring the bell whenever the arm completely turns back around, and then just whip the slug when it's down. In case you're wondering, no, you can't whip it when it's like that. Oh. Alright, back up to the thing. Whip that again, and this should do it. I think there might be one more round there. Yep, one more round. go right up here and one more whip Oop, turn back around there you go and it exploding giant titanic slug
everything exploded. Except for her. Wow, that was easy. Away she goes! Wait, we blew that up. Why is it still... What? Okay. You beat her the first time in all the other games. Ec well, you know, well, except for Pirate's Curse, but that's something completely different. Time to get those platforms back. Oh look, some very odd platform just appeared. Why can't I just go back? Because that would be the intelligent thing. I did it! And now we are in the genie realm. What an odd box. Monkey! We now have the power of monkey! Monkey, 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 monkey! But yeah, you can stick the walls, you'll slowly slide down if you don't do anything with it. You climb up them and... You also got a little bit extra jumping height too. Like... Normal Shantae! Monkey Shantae! There we go! And that's the first stage! I think I'm gonna end here because I'm close to half an hour on the uh, time limit. And after I uh, save, we'll call it a quits. So thanks everyone for watching and thanks for helping me test out the microphone. Come on. Oops.